up through the spotlights again. <laughs> okay, we'll get our next group up there while we have Brian and another question here. We had a fan question for you. I have to ask a, a preliminary one first. So years past, you've traveled in the off season. Did you do some stuff? This is just like a pre-question. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So the question was, what, where's the strangest place that you can recognize or someone wanted to come up and, and talk to you about the Giants? I'm half afraid to ask the question. But... <laughs> I'll do my second. That's <laughs> number one? It's not PG rated. <laughs> I was at a uh, Thai noodle shop, in, uh, obviously Thailand, and uh, this guy came up to me, um, didn't speak a lick of English, and he looked at me and I'm just chomping away at some Pad Thai, which is actually pretty good stuff. Uh, it's pretty good stuff, little pineapples and you know, whatever. Uh, he taps me on the shoulder and he just starts repeating, Giants, Giants! And, it was getting awkward because it went on for more than a minute. And it's, it's a lot of giants. I tried doing my best to say thank you and uh, patted him on the shoulder, went my way. But um, you know, that's probably the weirdest place. I mean, we're in Thailand. They're watching the giants. Yes, they are. <laughs> You can get Pad Thai in San Francisco. I got a few places. You don't have to go all the way there to get it. So if you want to talk to me afterwards. Well, that's information I could have used before the 22-hour flight. <laughs> okay, guys. All right. And I believe this is our final segment. Yeah. This gentleman here, obviously, uh, a lot of accomplishment last year for this organization, for this city. And Sergio, you came into this organization, you came up through this organization. And uh, I remember when you first made your first big league team, you said that day, hey, I'm gonna be on a team that wins a world championship in San Francisco. And you didn't know at that time that it had never been done. <laughs> Fraternity, uh, but still don't know how I whistled my way on this team. Really, I uh, really, I mean, holy cow, thank you guys. Changed my life forever, trust me. Um, wow, I'm just proud to put on jersey, no lie. Seriously, thank you for this all. Thank you. special, so for us, legit. It works. Before we get to uh, Jimmy, I'm going to ask uh, Emmanuel Burris. Uh, I mentioned you and, uh, and your uh, running partner, Mr. Ford, during postseason. Uh, and I made it sound like that you were only there to have fun, but that really wasn't the case. You guys got to sit back and watch this team. And I'm wondering what you take from that and how that can help you as you try to, to be a part of this organization and team for a long time. Well, I honestly think that's a very simple answer. I mean, with the, the group of guys that we had here in San Francisco and the leadership that they brought to the team and uh, the way they went about their business, there was not a second that went by that myself nor the younger guys or anybody let that, you know, go on about them. 
everybody here, everybody on our team, you know, whether it was the coaches, whether it was myself, people that were on the roster, on, off the roster, we all knew how much everybody was putting into this. And for me, that is something that I can take into the rest of my career. I mean, there are only a couple people that can honestly say that, not a couple, but there's only a, a few group of people that can honestly say they won a World Series championship ring. And I'll take that, no matter how it comes. You're all in the roster, all in the roster, I will take that. And I'm super proud to be a part of everybody here. And you know, I thought about them all off season, you know, dreamed about it, it's incredible. Can you beat them? Ford in a race? Yes. You can. Oh. Can you beat Taurus in a race? No. I don't want to beat Taurus in a race. Woo! What's the matter with you? Mikey, you get Jimmy. Okay, last year. Last year, I asked him a question. Your first two full seasons in the big leagues, you win. Two Cy Young Awards. So what are you gonna do this year? You know what he said? I don't know. Hit a home run? <laughs> Did it happen? So I asked you this year. Your first three years of the big leagues, you win two Cy Youngs and a World Championship. What are you gonna do this year? <laughs> um, so go for that home run. <laughs> Seriously, you went through August and you were 0-5. And it was your worst month, maybe not only as a professional, but in your in your life. Yeah, I don't think I've ever lost five games, not even in my lifetime. I mean, that was that was terrible. I mean, I'm, sorry guys, <laughs> scary out there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, it's you just it's a you just go back and start looking at yourself again, and you start doubting yourself, and then you know these great group of guys around me, you know, to pick me up, lift me up, you know, to get me out of my funk. Uh, you know, it just says a lot about our camaraderie and our our team. Uh, no. <laughs> 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 but you don't do that much. And you get and you you resurrect yourself out of the ashes and you get into the month of September, not only do you come back, find your rhythm, get your mechanics straight, you come back with a new pitch. Yep. Yeah, it was just something uh, I've been kind of working on. Uh, I was starting with Kane in San Diego in that big series, the four year series there, and I decided to kind of, you know, just mess around with it, see if it does anything. And, you know, it, it did. So I like, just kind of started with it, and I just kept putting down the threes, and I just kept throwing them. Yeah. What are you going to do next? <laughs> Start throwing knuckleballs. <laughs> In the process of it. That's over. That's over. That's over. <laughs> well, you, you got a lot of beard coaches around here. You know, you know, sure. Or you can cut a little off of Sergio's and maybe. <laughs> little fool, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Not as big as that one. <laughs> that one's bad. That's bad, you know. A dot dot. I can't really say that. It's pretty bad. It's just really the neatest bunch of individuals you've ever met. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Buster touched on it earlier. You know, you go out. You know, I didn't spend a lot of time in the minors and stuff, but I think I feel like this is the, the team out of my last four years that you know came together as a, a unit and uh, you know pulled it together when we needed to, pick each other up. We're all pulling on the same rope, and uh, you know that rope was to win. And uh, you know, just getting to where we did with the World Series, I mean, just shows a lot about us and uh, our guys. You know, I, I, I think one of the the uh, the obvious questions is is all you guys were extended all through October, pitching wise. At any point, did you feel tired? Uh, no, I think that's just kind of where the excitement takes over, and you're just running on pure adrenaline. I mean, you're just going out there wanting to grab the ball, wanting to throw that next pitch, and, uh, you know, just step up. And you took a long nap, too, I'm sure, when the season was over. <laughs> yes, I did. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Dave, what do you got? Uh, okay, well, we can ask a final uh, uh, follow-up from the fans before we get finished here. Tim, you got any, uh, these guys sort of touched on what you're working on, but did you have to, you, you're, you're as a pitcher, 
going to the off season with the way this season got extended, did you have to back off a little bit at all? Did you did you take a little extra rest? How's spring training going to go for you? Uh, you know, obviously with the, the way things went last year, you know, you just you got that shortened off season. So I think you just take about a month and a half off, and you're just rearing to go again. I mean, just the promise of tomorrow and you know coming back to being around these guys just make it all that much more exciting. And uh, you know, just getting back to that black and orange is pretty much what matters. All right, guys. Well, great job.